All right, so I just wanted to start off by um, talking about some of the things that's happened in the news just recently to do with security. So I don't know um, how many of you guys actually follow an actual like IT related news feed or anything specific to security. So not not a lot of you. So now might be the time to start thinking about sort of following um, current events in you know IT and security a bit more closely. So just to give you a feel for some of the stuff you missed <laughs> by not reading about it. Um, I'll start with the, the really big one that happened um, fairly recently and then talk about stuff that's just happened like in the last week or so. So at the end of last year, I mean, you probably you're all aware of this. Show up hands if you've heard of the Sony Pictures hack. All right, cool, so pretty much everyone. So as you know, Sony Pictures suffered a major security breach at the end of last year. And um, they didn't notice, or at least it's reported they didn't notice that it had happened until all the PCs in, in their um, offices were displaying like this screen that was telling them that they'd been hacked. Um, and that if they didn't comply with their demands, then they would release all sorts of information that they'd got off their network. Um, so as a result, they asked a whole bunch of their employees to basically do their work with pen and paper. Uh, and some people were given new computers if you know they really needed them, and um, it took them a long time to kind of figure out the actual scope of the attack. And so this is what was displayed on their computer screens when they came in one day. And as a result, they um, there were their Twitter account got hacked as well, and um, they were posted pictures of the CEO of Sony Pictures like burning in hell kind of thing and then they leaked 10 gigabytes of data to um, to the media or basically just online with links and sent links to some journalists and things and there was a lot of stuff it basically seems like they got almost entirely everything off their network that was of any value so the, this was followed with some le leaks of high quality copies of movies that hadn't even been displayed yet. So movies that hadn't been at cinemas yet. Um, scripts that hadn't been made yet. So the writer from Breaking Bad had a pilot script for, for, um, for something that got leaked. Um, their, all of the employees' personal details, like their social security numbers, their, how much money every single person that works for Sony Pictures were earning. <clears throat> like all of their you know, medical history and all this sort of stuff was all included in the leak. And some of the personal details included are things like the breastfeeding diet of one of the senior executives and stuff like that. So it was pretty serious um, breach. And just to make matters worse, not only did they take all of this stuff and release a whole lot of stuff online, but they actually used malware that basically deleted all the stuff off their, their servers as well. So not only uh, did they take stuff that they weren't meant to have, but they actually deleted stuff off the servers. So the one theory is that it was North Korea um, and the, the FBI even basically said that that was the case. So they basically publicly said, okay, we have identified North Korea as the people that did it. And the, um, the security community is not entirely convinced. Uh, I think there's, um, they haven't really given much evidence except that just trust us. We've got evidence that shows that it's them. Basically it comes down to the fact that they say that they've accidentally leaked some IP addresses. So it, when you're attacking someone over the internet, if you use proxies and Tor and you know VPNs and stuff like that, basically if you're not connecting directly from your own computer, then you can hide your own IP address so that you can't see where the attack's coming from. And they're saying that at some stages they accidentally connected directly uh, from IP addresses that they know belong to North Korea. And the NSA have also claimed that they had already hacked the North Korean um, servers and could see that it all had happened, but they just weren't looking for it at the time. But in hindsight, they could see it. Um, so that's you know one version of this, one possible version of the story. Uh, and the motivation, according to uh, the media, I guess, is that it's all to do with this movie called The Interview, because it, um, 
depicts their leader in a way that they wouldn't like and that, you know, basically it's this it's just a silly comedy where two guys are asked to assassinate um, you know, the North Korean leader um, Kim, Kim Jong-un um, but um, so that, that happened recently o only in the last week there's, there's been a whole bunch of um, security flaws in Windows products, in Microsoft's products. So Microsoft's patched um, some really serious security problems. So one known as Jazzbug basically allows an attacker on the network to intercept a request for a file off a file server on the network and um, basically feed through some malware instead. Um, and if you are not if you don't apply the patch that they've just released in their last patch Tuesday, then um, your systems are vulnerable to that attack. There were also a whole bunch of other remote code execution flaws in Internet Explorer um, and in the kernel. So the the Windows kernel actually renders font files like that's actually included in in the kernel. So um, <coughs> you know, as you know from I think last week, and I, you know, we, we talked about this a little bit, but the kernel is obviously a very important piece of software that manages the hardware and all the other programs talk to the kernel. Um, <clears throat> if there's a security breach in the kernel, it's a really big security deal. So just by browsing to a website, if you're using Internet Explorer and you haven't updated to the very most recent version, um, then someone could take control of your computer. If you um, even just browse a file that uses the wrong fonts um, and you're on a Windows computer, then they can basically get kernel level access to your machine, which is very, very bad. Um, so if you are using Internet Explorer, then you might want to um, reassess your life decisions <laughs> for more than one reason. Um, healthcare, so this is the last story I'm gonna mention is um, Anthem is the um, second largest US health insurer. Um, and they had a security compromise that someone basically managed to get access to their database which includes 80 million people, information for 80 million people, so past and present customers and employees and it includes details like you know, full name and um, home address, uh, tax IDs, date of birth, um, employment details including how much they earn. Um, and Allegedly, they claim it didn't include health records, which is a good thing if that's true, they just got all the personal information, which is still a bad thing that someone got all that stuff. But health records are um, particularly noteworthy where they, they do get them because they, go, they sell quite highly on the black market. So if you have health records, you can sell them at about $10 a pop. So like per record, you get 10 American dollars on the black market. And that's a lot higher than credit card details. If you manage to steal someone's credit card details, you're lucky to get a dollar for each um, credit card. And the reason for that is it's, it's a bit harder to commit credit card fraud. Health insurance fraud is easier, basically. So, because um, if you manage to get um, someone's home address and all these details, including their uh, medical history and all that sort of stuff, you can do um, health insurance fraud. So yeah, so all of that has happened um, recently within the last couple of months and those last few things are all within the last week or so. So that's all I have to say about that.